I am copying a drawing of storms in using the grid method. So I'm starting by putting light outlines of where I've got highlights and shadows. Uh, so I can color in the tone and shading for my drawing uh, really carefully and accurately. So it's really about measuring uh, where things are within your rectangles and focusing on copying one rectangle at a time. Even so, most of the rectangle is really dark. There is still a number of detail in there. There is still some highlights and some lighter areas within the dark that you need to put through on there. So the second uh, rectangle is quite blended on there. So I'm just uh, um, outlining really lightly the area of the highlight is having measured how high and uh, depth of it and the space it's taking in that little rectangle and then building up the tone uh, with my pencil making sure I'm using a range of pencil pressure to show my tone from light to dark. You can also see me using little dots we've got a little bit of texture in the skin to copy that texture on there. Then I'm going to move on to the eye rectangle so I'm starting with a light outline of the eye to make sure that I keep the highlights uh, light and that keeping those white of the, high, of the eye on there. So once I've got the outlines here for my eye and nose, I'm starting to fill in the tone, uh, focusing on the really dark first um, and making sure I'm using the correct pencil pressure for the correct tone on there and trying to showing the variations with the light tone by having a really light grey and the variations with the dark tone as well as precisely as I can on there. Once I've coloured this dark area and shown the tone within that, um, I'm starting to uh, do the nose. I'm going to keep the wing of the nose light, so I'm adding some little lines on there to show where I need to color in my shading and to really remind myself of the areas I need to keep light. So here I'm building the tone carefully. I can always make it darker if it needs to go darker, but it is uh, obviously if you want to make it lighter, you're going to have to rub it out. And it's not always practical to do so. So from here, I'm carrying on on each rectangle one at a time, slowly and carefully uh, to try to get that as accurately as possible. Here I'm getting into the lip and kind of uh, moustache area, so I've got a little bit more texture. I'm using mark making to show the texture of the uh, skin in the lips and the little hair on the um, moustache area and so on. So just vary the range of dots and marks that you're using on there to show the full range of tone and texture. So carry on working one rectangle at a time and really observing that rectangle carefully, putting the detail in the right place, uh, measuring where your features are going. So don't assume you know where the eye is going, really carefully and then place the eye in the correct place. This is a really good method to copy drawings accurately. So once you've finished all the squares, you can come back and adjust the tone and texture where you need to in your drawing.